Hi, I'm Tom Youngs, and you're watching Cool as Leicester. So, Tom, thanks for chatting with us today. No worries, no um, how have your preparations been going for the new season? Oh, it's so been far? going well. Like, obviously, with the World Cup, um, the World Cup looming for the, for the other guys, it's a longer, <clears throat> a longer pre-season. Yeah. So, it's, you know, it's, we, we would we would be starting sort of pre-season games now, but we're not. You know, we're going to use the Prem Cup as those sort of warm-ups. So, it's been good, and actually, something we probably needed on the back of last season. Look, we <clears throat> we all know what happened last season, but we've. Um, Really regrouped, rebuilt. We've gone down some different roads and, and had a look at everything. And um, new facilities have been built here in, inside there. New new changing room altogether, which has been fantastic. Um, and the club is really moving in a great direction. And the great thing is now we've got an opportunity to really tighten up as a group. With 19 guys leaving last season, 20 coming in, it gives us you know make sure that we've got 12 weeks now of well. We're 10 weeks, 11 weeks down now of, of getting real tight as a group, which has been fantastic. And have you done anything different at all during yeah, the season? Yeah, yeah, massively. Like we've really targeted our fitness side of things. Um, one thing we probably we probably would say people targeted our fitness in the last 20 of games, so we've really targeted that. Um, so obviously training has been very hard for that. Hard for that. Um, also, we, we've really, with Mike Ford coming in, he came in the back end of last season, but coming in this season with Geordie, they've really looked at our attack and taking that to the next level. Phil Blake obviously joined us in January um, this year, but he's now got a full full sort of pre-season under him doing doing his stuff, what he wants to do. So things are gelling nicely. You know, obviously you never know how you are until your first game, but yeah. um, we're on a far better pathway than we were this time last year. Brilliant. Obviously, you mentioned then the new signings. How have they all been settling in? Oh, very well. We were very keen about making sure when they do come in that they do feel a part of it straight away. Um, and we feel we've got that. With the new change rooms, I think, being all in one, that helps that a lot as well. Um, but they're great guys and um, they've really brought them well. I have to say that the actual group has been is brilliant, brilliant. I think the whole buy-in from everyone has been fantastic, um, which helps drive standards, drive things forward. I think there's a real good buy-in from everything. The culture is building nicely and it's about just keep pushing it forward, pushing it forward. So very happy on how things are going at the moment and uh, very excited to sort of almost get into games. We've still got a you know, good sort of four weeks or so until we're going to be hitting those games, but it'd be nice when they finally come round. One, we can have lighter week training week and, and two, but it'll just be good to see where we're at a little bit and, and what we need to sort of tinker with. Brilliant, obviously it is the World Cup year, so with some people away, on international duty, how do you think the team will cope with that? And do you think it will give some academy players perhaps a chance to, to come through? Well, exactly that. And I think you, I've seen that in training this year. You know, the guys who've come up this year, 11 guys have come up from the academy. You've got guys from last year who've, who were first years last year coming into that second year, kind of into the first team. And everyone's getting that. Probably when you, when you lose guys to the World Cup, those guys get more of an opportunity. They get more reps in training. They get a possibility more game time at the beginning of the season. So um, it's great to see. And I'm really, <coughs> I really think Geordie's been on about is going back to homegrown talent. And that's very important. So it's great to see these guys getting better and getting exposed to training and, and, and really getting a sort of... A, acknowledgement of what it takes and stuff like that and, and, and it's been great to see that and now hopefully they can take that forward into a few games and take that experience and then when those other international boys come back it'll be keen then to see make sure the group dynamics stay the same and we can keep driving forward but with those you know they're world-class players they play for their uh, countries for, for a reason they're very good at what they do so it's always nice to have them back but at the same time it's been good with them away in the group the way the group's um, tightened up. And on a personal level what are your goals? For the main season? Um, my, uh, my goals um, are to make sure the group's happy, to make sure that we keep driving forward. I think I want us to be um, a tighter group. I think that's important from a captain's point of view to make us a tighter group. And then I want to see us digging out games. I want to see you know, hard, hard, hard fought wins that are brought in. I'm not going to talk about the table or anything like that. I'm going to focus on what we have as a group and hope for that all. If we concentrate on him here, the table will take care of itself, but it's a very important what we can build in this sort of environment now um, and then see where we can take that onto the field. And what's a standard day in kind of pre-season training? Um, kind of run and run a little bit more. No, it's, uh, it, the days vary. Um, Tuesday today is always a very, very hard day. Um, Wednesday is a sort of a down day, recovery day, stroke. Some boys might have some weights to catch up on. Thursday again would be more of like a um, learning day and then Friday will go hard again. So that's how it sort of bounces around during the week. So as I say, Tuesdays and Fridays are probably our hardest days with Mondays and Thursdays being like good learning days um, to prepare us for the Tuesdays and, and the Fridays. Brilliant. And then obviously with the new season on the horizon, every game's important, but for you, what's the one fixture that you look forward to? Oh, it's always the Derby game, uh, you know, Northampton. And it's, 
we always say it, but it is, and it's, it always has a great extra little bit of spice to it and stuff. So um, look, we, we beat them last year, they beat us, so it was even on the stakes there. Um, but we look forward to playing them, and I think they'll look forward to playing us. So. Brilliant. Cheers. Thank you for chatting to us, and no uh, good luck for the new season. Cheers, thank you very Brilliant. much.